found banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it... Here we go! That was quick. Keep your distance, friend. Another day at the cannery. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to talk. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's a law forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! <laughs> I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted.
Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh. Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. Of course, I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain. Whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. <laughs>